you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? <gasps> that depends. Let me check. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a terrorist. Now, have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. I planned to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. 
slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. I'm not the one you should be scared of, guy. Listen, if you see him, don't try to approach him. Just call the number, okay? It's even worse than my passport picture. Okay, good. That's cool. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. This is so bad.
I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen Crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. Okay. And no one would know. Come on, come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something.
power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Potential ally? Not even close. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. And see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How long do you need? I already found the problem. Quite simple, really. Power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning when the machine was activated. 7 a.m.? That's hours before we even got here. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. 
You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Jack, you've got to see this. You should give Amaral a hand over there. Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right. What is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna want to see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Okay. The date is. Oh, the date is. It's, it's February 28th. Jesus, Will. 1999. William Joyce. 1999. Uh, after months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready. Human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it, or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. We'll travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay. Setting the date to five. What's on the computer? The future for the first test. Monarch files I uploaded, Admittedly. and I kept the juiciest stuff on the screen for you. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. What's wrong? Toto. My signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. 
I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, you can try it your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Looks climbable. All right. Set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? So turn him back. Hey, wait, wait. What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay?
Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait. Because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the... Someone's in here. Turn it back. Jack? Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Set Williams' machine to 1999, the first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason he built the countermeasure, and you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. Eleven years. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? 
Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river. Along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. The countermeasures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? You bring it back here, use the machine, and return to the future. Use it to stop the fracture. That was always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth, she had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure. The one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. There it is. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. <clears throat> From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you lead me to my brother. Sure. Hey, River Boy! Now, pretty sure where do we find this thing? Time, Will said he secured it inside a safe. Somewhere in the building. All right, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? see here. The power setup wasn't working, but it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. 
It was all there on the board. The details of his downward spiral. His work consumed him. It became some kind of desperate obsession. He was never the same. Door's locked. Knowing Will, that's where the safe is. Just need to find a way in. Shit, shit. Locked out again. again. Where was the failsafe switch? switch? Follow the wire. Which one was it? Was it blue? Blue? Or was that the emergency shutdown? Oh shit. I knew I should have labeled the wiring. Sesame. Emergency, Emergency shutdown shut initiated. Shit, shit, ass. ass. Fucking, Fucking god, god damn, it. damn it. Yellow, Yellow wire, wire, I knew it to it. I built a goddamn time machine, but I can't remember to keep a piece of shit door unlocked. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual is en route. Roger. Stop right there! Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. It seems to be the one. He's got a gun! Open fire! Oh, give Press it! 
Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? Created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Move! Beth, get up. Beth, come on, get up. Please, Beth. Beth, you need to move. Okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the gun. Come on, come on, come on, Beth, move. Come on, please, please. Beth, move! 
Paul, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't! I'm not wrong. You can't. No! No! Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No. I don't have much time left, I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? Slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. The lab explosion, my treatments, all gone. CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene? I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene out. This soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of becoming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I can feel it infesting my thoughts. <sighs> I don't know who to trust anymore. Sophia Amaral. She wanted to activate the lifeboat before it was ready. She wants to sabotage my operation. Who knows what she's told Jack? Who knows how long she's been working? Sir? Be right with you, son. Report. Sir. You ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal.
The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? You're not going to keep me from getting the CFR. Last chance to walk away, Joyce. Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now... Sure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. Alright? Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. No happen. Charlie Wincott. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Sir? Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir. fast while I still can Bradbury swimming pool 